on the water has been brought to you by G'day, I'm with Rowan Veal, current Victorian Institute of Sport scholarship holder. Rowan, you've got three Australian titles, one Asia Pacifics, one British Nationals, a World Championships and a nomination for World Sailor of the Year. So, you've been sailing the moth for a number of years now, culminating in your World Championships in January 2005. How does it feel to be a World Champion? I just put together the best package I, I thought could, would win a championship and it came off really well and ended up winning every race. So I suppose not only winning it, but winning all those races was a big shock. I didn't even realise what I was doing at the time, but um, it, it hadn't been done before in any moth championships as far as I was aware and probably not in many other championships as well. So I think that was a, that was a big shock and I still don't realise I've done it now. <laughs> and how has it been going since then? I had about a six month break because I just thought I'd done enough, I've done what I wanted to do and I took some time off, worked around the house, got married. So tell us a bit about the boat that you won the World Championships in. Um, the Moth class is uh, an international class and we have very few rules and basically the boat has to fit within a box of 3.3 metres long and 2.2 metres wide. Uh, we have one sail, it's got to be 8 square metres. And apart from that, there's really not much else to it. Um, we actually sail the boats on hydrofoil, so as the boat picks up enough speed in the right amount of wind and conditions, the, the boat will actually lift out of the water and, and fly. And we, we double our speed instantly, and um, you can reach beat speeds of up to 25 knots um, on a really good day, so it does go quite fast. The foils are obviously what's different about the moths. Tell us a bit about this technology. The hydrofalls allow the boat to clear the water and basically get the boat out of the water so it, it, it reduces drag and increases speeds. So is there anything else you can do to go faster? I, I suppose the, the rich, uh, restriction on speed is drag so it's, we need to really look at windage, like the faster you go there's obviously more wind blowing on the boat and we probably might like look at the rig and trying to reduce some, some drag out of there. And we've improved on the hydrofoil sections as well. There's obviously an attachment under the water. Is, is, there's a lot of drag in water, so we've refined that shape to try and make it go as fast as possible. But um, apart from just going out in a lot of wind and getting the right conditions, there's really nothing stopping us. We just go as fast as we can. Why do you go sailing and how did you get involved? When I was about eight or nine, um, my dad used to sail at Black Rock Yacht Club and um, put the offer to us to go sailing. And I was reluctant at first, but sort of come round when my brother said he'd do it, so I thought, oh, I well, may as well do it. And why did you get involved with the moth class specifically? Oh, I, I, I'd been thinking about it for a long time when I was a kid, but um, it's having money to do it. And I considered sailing another boat that was a bit simpler and easier to sail, but I wanted a bit more of a challenge and um, for moth it's something that's always appealed to me and I just thought, oh, this, that's what I'm going to do. How much does a new moth cost, second hand and brand new? Second hand, you could pick them up for a few hundred dollars out of the trading post and, and that's what I bought. I just spent a few hundred dollars and that was my first boat. But to get a, a, a good one on the water, you probably need to spend about eight or nine. Um, but for a brand new hydrofoil version like mine with everything carbon fibre, um, they're probably around the $15,000 mark. I know you're involved in the coaching of up-and-coming junior sailors. How did you get involved in that and what do you do to help these kids? Oh, well, I'm sort of interested in doing it anyway. I, I like to see um, juniors and youths come through and, and do well. But as part of uh, a scholarship program that I'm involved with each year, um, Yachting Victoria provides funding to athletes to go and compete overseas. and. I'm lucky enough to get that and as a result they asked to put some coaching back into the youth and so I, I do that, I do a bit more as well though, I help coach other teams and, and just I really just want to get them to try going as fast as possible but the way I see it is that the more people I can help get better in sailing, the better in sailing 
in Australia can be. What have you got in the pipeline for the coming year? Just got some more club racing state titles around, around Victoria. Um, I've got to go to Denmark in July for the world titles, um, but I'm trying to fit in some other stuff as well. Uh, there's boat shows and exhibition sailing, and uh, I've had an offer as well to crew on a, on a world speed record attempt boat, and that's a hydrofoil boat. And uh, we're, just, we're just waiting to see what happens with that. There's a, there's a lot to do, and I'm ready and waiting to have a crack at this record, if, if, if possible. So, can Caveman have a go on your moth? Caveman can have a go on my boat. Um, we just need the right wind and the right waves. Today's not too bad, but um, the waves make it a little difficult to get going initially, but uh, I'm sure we can find the time. Weird on the water, try and bring you the best sailors in the world. So thanks a lot, Rowan, for coming along. And if you want to check out the moth sailing, have a look on the link through our website. I'm about to have a go. I was about to have a go on Rowan Veal's International Moth. Uh, we decided to go on by something more traditional, the OK dinghy. Shooter's OK dinghy, in fact. Uh, Rowan has offered us a go. However, it is too high tech. I've never sailed a dinghy and I don't want to tip it up and wreck it. I want one of these. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you'd like to check anything else out, check onthewater.com.au where you can download segments of each show. That's right, you can download the segments from all of your favourite shows. And remember, if you're sailing over the horizon or even over your local pond, a bad day on the water is better than a good day at work. We'll see you next week. On the Water has been brought to you by...